My name is Mariah Medina. I'm the Public Affairs Manager for the San Antonio Police Department. This critical incident video release is intended to provide you with information as the department currently understands it about an officer-involved shooting that occurred in the 2300 block of Castroville Road on June 3rd. San Antonio Police Lieutenant Michelle Ramos will walk you through 911 audio and body-worn camera relevant to the facts of this incident as we know them so far. Content of this video may not be suitable for all audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. On June 3rd, just after midnight, dispatchers received the following two calls. San Antonio 911, do you need police fire EMS? Lynn, how may I help? Hello? 911 police. I was going to Thursday. Hello? There's a guy, he's outside of the family dollar. What's the address and, of the family dollar? Um, it's, um, I'm not, it's, uh, 36 in Cashville. He's outside, he has a gun in his backpack and he keeps flashing at me and he has a big ass knife. And he's out there drinking. What does he look like? Oh, uh, he's Hispanic, he has like a windbreaker and a camel pants. He's right out there, he's screaming and he's drinking. And he's got a Are big knife. Are you still knife. there? No, I already left. He has a big knife and he has a gun in his bag and he showed me it. Okay, did he present the gun or the knife? Yes, to you? he did. But so then did, he put it back in his backpack. Okay, did he take the gun and the, the knife out towards you? He had the the knife's in his hip, but he had the he had the gun out and pointed it at me. The gun, he did point the gun at you. Yes, ma'am. Okay, is he white, black, or Hispanic male? He's Hispanic. About how old? Twenties, thirties, forties, fifties. Probably twenty. Twenties. What and color clothing? Bald. Bald. What color clothing? And he is a windbreaker, like a blue what color? one. color? Blue. And then, he, like, uh, probably like a navy blue. I'm not sure. Okay. And camel, camel shorts. One moment. Camel color or khaki color? Like camel. Camel. Shorts. He said. All right. Is he drunk? I guess he's uh, been drinking out there. I I think he has. He's drinking a beer. Okay. And he pointed the gun at you? Yes, he did. Okay. How long ago was that, just now? Say it again? Did, did, when did that happen, just now? I got to go, but he's out there at the family dollar. San Antonio 911, this is Christina. Do you need police, fire, or EMS? Uh, yeah, I just called I just called about um, this guy at the family dollar. Okay. He's still sitting out there. Okay. Is he the one with the gun? Yes, he is. Okay, like well, he has that backpack. He put it back on his back. I just drove by. Okay. Did you want to speak with officers? No, I do not. He has a really big knife, though. A knife or a gun? It was shortly after the caller disconnected the second call that officers arrived at the Family Dollar in the 2300 block of Castroville Road. Officers saw the suspect, identified as Colton Chavez, outside the store carrying a backpack. Officers began shouting commands to Chavez. Hey, let's your hands! Let's your hands! Let's your hands! Let's hey. your hands, bro! Let's your hands! Hey, stop wrenching! Chavez is seen dropping the backpack before retrieving a long knife from his waistband and walking towards officers. Drop, Drop it, bro! Drop the knife! Drop it, bro! Put it down! Chavez continues to advance toward officers who walk backward in order to keep a safe distance. Put it down. Officers are also heard continuing de escalation efforts. Chavez is then seen charging at officers, prompting three officers to open fire. Here is another view of the suspect charging at officers. Hey bro, just drop it, bro. You don't have to shoot you, bro, bro. 
It's all right, bro. Hey, I'm here to help you, bro. What's your name? What's your name, bro? What's your name? Put it down, dude. Yeah. Put it down. No, you don't speak. I'm taking you out of here. Come on this way, Sylvester. Come on, man. Put it down. I'm here to help you, bro. I want to talk to you. Put it down, bro. Put, put it down. We want to help you. Somebody got left lethal. Chavez was taken to University Hospital where he was pronounced deceased. It was later determined that Chavez made the two phone calls to 911 and described himself to the call taker. Officers did not locate a firearm. Investigations into deadly force are comprehensive and can take over a year. A reminder, this is our current understanding of the situation and could change as investigators gather more information. The San Antonio Police Department does not make any determinations as to whether procedures were followed until all facts are known. All officer-involved shootings are forwarded to the Bear County District Attorney's Office for review. As of this publication, the investigation remains ongoing. Is it still there? Yeah. Yeah. You got it. Oh. Let me see your hands! Let me see your hands, bro! Let me see your hands! Hey, stop wrenching! Get your hands up, bro! Hey! Drop it! Drop, Drop it, it, bro! Drop the knife! Drop it, bro! Put it down! Put it down, dude. Put it down. Come on this way, Sylvester. Put it down. Put it down. I'm here to help you, bro. I want to help Put it down, bro. Put it down. We want to help you. Somebody got left lethal. Put it down, dude. Yeah. Put it down. No, you don't speak. I'm taking you out of here. Come on this way, Sylvester. Come on, man. Put hey, it bro. down. I'm here to help you, bro. I want to talk to you. Put it down, bro. Put, put it down. We want to help you. Somebody got left lethal. <laughs> 